Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'll show you how to fix the recent issue with SteelSeries Sonar where you lose all sound after an update. If you installed the latest Sonar update and suddenly your laptop or PC has no audio, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll guide you through some steps to get your sound back and disable Sonar if you prefer the old setup. SteelSeries GG released a new update for Sonar, and after installing it, a lot of us ended up with no sound at all. You might notice some new devices in your playback list like chat, gaming, and microphone, but none of these outputs work. Even your regular speaker outputs may have gone silent. It's pretty frustrating. The easiest solution that worked for some people was simply uninstalling the Sonar driver. Here's how you can do it. Open Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu and selecting it. Find Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Locate SteelSeries Sonar Virtual Audio Device. Right-click and disable it. Once you do this, the Sonar devices should disappear from your sound control panel, and your audio should go back to how it was before the update. Restart your computer just to make sure Sonar doesn't re-enable itself. If uninstalling didn't work or if you want to configure Sonar first, here's another approach that worked for me. Opt into SteelSeries GG Beta, go to SteelSeries GG, then find the option to join Beta or Early Access. This gives you more control over the Sonar settings. Once in Beta, go to Sonar and open General Settings. Turn off Sonar from there. Now you should get your playback devices back without Sonar trying to take over your audio settings. This setup will let you keep your SteelSeries Arctis Pro separate audio channels for chat and game sounds, as it was before. If you still can't get your sound back, here's an advanced fix using command prompt to manually remove the sonar driver files. Open command prompt as an administrator. Navigate to the sonar driver folder by typing this command. Run these commands one by one to remove the sonar audio devices. After running these commands, restart your computer to make sure the changes stick. This should remove the Sonar Virtual devices completely. If any of these solutions worked for you, let me know in the comments. And if you're still having issues, feel free to share, there might be other fixes we can explore together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips.